Hi, hi. I'm still me, Nico. Um, <laughs> so, I have been uh, under construction, and um, it, it kind of leads to a lot of frustration with me because I have, I feel stunted. Uh, everything's everywhere, nothing's where it should be, and I feel lost in my own, <laughs> in my own house. Um, it's day six of construction, I suppose. Days one through five were Tuesday through Saturday. Now, he said he was going to come here on Saturday and do everything because it was his day off and he wasn't going to do anything on Saturday except that. Except Saturday we got slammed with a snowstorm and he had to do the shoveling and the salting and all of that. So I understood and I didn't say anything when he didn't show up. But he did message me at the very end of the day and say that he would try to come by today. Now, um, I got a message from him today where he said that, um, what was it? Oh, it, it, the message was weird. It was like, good morning. Um, I had a problem with the boiler I had to fix. I'm ready to come to you now. But I received this text at 6.38 p.m. It says so on my text. It's right on whatever. So I don't know when he sent these texts. And now it looks like I am holding up any progress. So now I have to wait again until tomorrow when he comes by to ask if he can come and finish my floor. It would be really nice if he could finish my floor. I would love to have a finished floor. I would like my kitchen back. It would be lovely. I had just gotten it to a place where it looked pretty. And now all of the plants that lived in there are now living in my windows and... <sighs> To be honest with you, I think there's just a, a dangerous um, level of oxygen in my room. <laughs> uh, I'm starting to turn sane, and I, I don't think that I'll remain me very much longer if I am forced to... Uh, and on top of quitting smoking, I, I'm just breathing in way too much oxygen. I think my head is, is too light. I feel weak. I'm sick. I'm ill. Someone save me. No? Oh. I thought it was convincing. You suck.